Welcome to Nigeria Bank Call News. The Minister of Information. Former President Donald Trump. People of Palestine, thank you. Thank you for being a part of Nigeria Bank Call News today. Navani's Moscow funeral takes place on the shadow of repression. I am Abigail, and here is the news in full. The funeral of Russian opposition leader Alexei Navalny is scheduled in Moscow two weeks after his death in an Arctic prison. Accusing President Vladimir Putin of murdering Navalny, his team faces pressures and denounces the circumstances. Putin, yet to comment, has not mentioned Navalny's name publicly. The religious service will be at the Mother of God Quench My Sorrows Church and the barrier at Boris Vol Cemetery. Details and attendance limits are unclear raising concerns of potential arrest as 400 mourners have been detained previously. Navani's widow fears disruptions, blaming Putin for his death, while Putin's spokesman criticizes such accusations. Navani, known for an anti-corruption campaign, was arrested upon returning to Russia in 2021 after treatment in Germany for a poisoning attack. His widow recounts three years of torture, starvation and abuse. His body held for eight days. His team alleges attempts to cover up responsibility. Funeral arrangements face challenges including threats to hearse drivers. A civil ceremony allowing public farewells has been denied. Navani's widow vows to continue his work, emphasizing the importance of continuing the fight against corruption. The funeral raises concerns of potential arrest and serves as a focal point for dissent in the wake of Navani's death. Thank you for being a part of Niger Uncle News today. Join us again soon for more. Stay informed, stay connected.